Welcome back to the channel. So today I have a little interesting video. Um, so I went to my local Rural King to buy chicken feed this morning. And I walked past the clearance table. Um, they have a bunch of stuff out there on clearance. Um, just some odds and ends. I've seen some shoes and just different, like a squeegees and just, just different things. So on the floor was this chop saw. Um, and on the, on the chop saw, it had a tag. It says, do not work. Motor is fried as is. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you guys what I bought. Okay. So this is what I've seen sitting on the floor. It's a Genesis, uh, 14 inch cut chop saw, um, for cutting angle iron pipe. Um, rebar, you know, whatever you'd like uh, to cut with it, metal wise. Um, and it had a tag on it that says, does not work, motor is fried as is. And it has a price tag of $20.91. And this still has the other price tag where it was new, of course, it's all the way over here. Um, $110 for it new. Now, just by looking at the box, um, I was thinking to myself, is it possible that someone bought this thing and burn it up within just a couple minutes of having it? Because, I mean, with it being in the box, I don't know. So, I did decide to ask a lady that worked there to if, if she could open the box so I can take a look at it just to see, maybe smell the motor see if I can smell it being burnt. Um, and as soon as I opened it, it looked brand new to my eyes. It didn't look like there was anything cut with it. It didn't uh, look like it was even plugged in. So I took the chance on buying it for 20 bucks, which isn't a bad deal in my eyes, even if it doesn't work. Um, it was a $20 gamble. And sometimes you have to gamble and sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this box up and I'll show you what I bought. I have not plugged it in. I don't even know if it works, but we're gonna open it up together and we're gonna see if it works together. Okay, so let's get to opening this thing. This is what I looked like what it looked like whenever she opened the box. This, whatever this may be, I have no idea. Um, looks like a tool to maybe take the blade off. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. Um, this steel in the back, a couple springs, I'm not sure what that is. Book, okay. All looks like it's never been touched. Which I don't think you have to have that open to, to run the machine. So then I take the saw and I'm going to open it, pull it out here to show you guys what I seen when I bought it. Put this around here. This, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of how clo uh, close up of it and see what you think. Okay, this is what it looked like in the box. Um, now, being that it says it's burnt up, uh, if that's the case, it doesn't even look like it had any kind of cutting going on. Throw it, let me try to unlock this here, lift it up. Um, if someone had used this and burned it up, I don't know what they cut. Is it possible that they just plugged it in and it didn't work? possibly um, the cord still wrapped up I mean this is the blade on it I mean it does not even look like it's been through any kind of steel at all so for 20 bucks I took I'm, I'm taking the gamble and I think it's I'm hoping that it's gonna be a good gamble so let's get to plugging this thing in and see if it works All right, 
it's plugged in. Moment of truth to see if my $20 investment was worth it. Let's find out. It sounds like it works brand new to me. So my uh, gamble, I would say, paid off. Uh, like I said, for 20 bucks, it might not be the best brand. I'm not exactly sure how good these are. It was originally $110. And I thought for 20 bucks, why not take the gamble? I don't have this type of machine, and they come in handy when you work uh, around metal. Um, so let's take a little closer look now that we know it works. Um, and I'll show you, uh, you know, a little bit about what I see. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so it has this vice type deal on it. And this would be to, you unspin this, and you can clamp the metal in between here and you would just tighten that, chop saw it down. Um, it has the, you push this down, push this bar in like that, locks the machine down. Um, has a guard that goes up as you cut through something. So it kind of protects you from getting hit in the face or arms or anything with um, debris. Um, pretty nice looking machine for 20 bucks. You can't beat it. Um, back of it. So I'm pumped up, man. 20 bucks, you can't beat it. $110 machine. And it'll come in handy working with metal. Um, so yeah, you never know. You guys just got to keep your eye out. And, uh, I like going to yard sales, uh, flea markets and whatnot. So I always check out the clearance, um, tables and, uh, you just never know what you're going to find, you know? All right, guys. So just like I was hoping the machine works perfectly fine. Um, I'll test it out on cutting some metal, um, do another video on that, but I think what happened was um, somebody brought this machine back. They bought it. They brought it back. And I think that they probably lied saying that the machine was burned up. Um, and they just throwed it out there for 20 bucks. Um, the lady said it was sitting there for about a week. And obviously nobody had any interest in it. So I decided to pick it up, take the gamble, and the gamble paid off. And uh, so now I got a brand new chop saw for 20 bucks. Can't beat that. So if you liked my video, give me a thumbs up, um, comment, whatever you'd like, Aaron. Like I said, I'll make a video on getting some steel cut to show you how it works. Um, so yeah, until next time, we'll see you guys. Thanks for, thanks for you for all the subscribers. I really do appreciate that. I am getting some uh, more newer uh, subscribers. Um, so yeah, appreciate y'all. Thank you very much.